Hello, my friends. Today we are going to discuss about very a simple and very important stuff. Okay, simple because it has been there in SAP for a long time, and probably I didn't know it for like 15 years. And uh, simple and very important means it's very important for any people who are learning SAP or who is uh, who is also experienced in SAP because SAP is like an ocean. You probably know a bucket of uh, of that ocean, and you think you are the SAP expert. That's not the way. It's so huge. It's so big. So let's let me tell you what 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 we will be discussing today. We will be discussing based on the type of the business process, how you can know what are the different types of what are the different types of transaction code available in SAP. So why you need it? Because you don't need to an IT or a consultant to tell you. Uh, lots of times the uh, IT and consultants is only trying to create custom stuff, you know, uh, without looking into the standard stuff. Also, another thing is this is standard out of the box. So anything that is coming brand new in SAP, you will see it. So, so that's very important. So it's very uh, important, this transaction code, for both uh, uh, new newbies as well as the oldies. Like Okay, so here we'll go first thing is we'll go to transaction SE16T. Okay, SE16, XC16, and it's heavily used for data browser and all those things. Now what we are going to do is we are going to find what are the different transactions uh, for a particular business process. Okay, so what you have to do once, once we get it, if you don't have authorization, just ask the security team, be nice to them. And they will give it to you. So here you just execute. Okay. Once you execute, now here what you are going to do is we are going to search. So suppose I want related with purchase. Okay. So look, I'm just typing wrong. Okay. So let me see purchase. I'll say purchase. Oops. Since you know you have purchase. H. A, oops. So, piece H. so you have to see here now you see more stuffs are coming so now purchase you have to be a little cautious because the uh, the, the internal search help is, is on so that's why it's showing all these things so you now purchase suppose I want anything related with purchase so here if you see you have a bunch of stuff that you can do with purchases now suppose you want to see only related with suppose you want to see only purchase requisition okay so now it will start showing things okay so here you can see purchase requisition all those things okay and here if you want suppose suppose i want to see purchase requisition and i want to see me53n okay uh, and i i click on this okay I'm there right away. So it takes me there, you know, it's ready to be used. Now, here, if you are smart, you can add it to your favorite. So I'll just show you. So I'll just create a session just to show that it's not there before. And what we are going to do is we are going to add ME53 or ME53M into the favorites. So once we add this, now you may say okay it's not there because what happens we need to refresh we have to create a new session and do we have me 53m guess what we still don't have it it's strange so let's see search area text so the me the, the favorite piece doesn't work insert favorites let me try to do me 52m and so here it's coming up and I think if I save it, so it's here, so probably there is a way where if I try to, so this is saying it's in the favorite if you see and, and this is the authorization and now what I can do, okay, so let me go back and hit the bad button. Does it show me now? Okay, let me close this one. And 
will create a new session. So it didn't it didn't bring me there. So oh that's probably something is missing here. So we'll again go to SE 16T and we saw this is our example. So here we will go and execute again. And now we are going to find something related with suppose sales sales order. Okay, so I try let's say L E S oops S so now go sales order E R E R so here you will see all the sales order stuff. So I'm pretty sure sales order everyone knows VA01, VA02 will be there and we might see something that you know those will be interesting so this this way you can find all the transaction code for a particular so now suppose you want to check for vendor invoice okay so I go to vendor and I go to invoice Oops. The, the only problem here you need to very be careful when typing because it's trying to auto propose it's not that smart like Google but you know at least trying to do something so the vendor invoice thing see here we have vendor and we and here probably it's showing some enter vendor invoice part invoice or something so here it it goes by the transaction goes by the you know the transaction text now if the transaction text is different then it becomes difficult okay so this is another one let let's see something related with a back okay so we search that okay and we see see here you can see a bab docu show okay call about keyboard documentation okay we all you can say let me click on this this is something new I didn't know that so well, that takes me to something here and I will do so I'll just select what I'll select okay I will select and I'll search and here I see so that's pretty nice I like it uh, now here I'll close now this and you have a back dress uh, back help okay mm, oh, I don't know what it is ABAC 61 Okay, uh, about tool name for stage. So, you know, probably there's stuff that, you know, we don't really know, but is there. So, you can see other stuff like uh, class about display about class library. Okay, so it will show you all the web class. Okay, so it's like probably an SW1 where you can find all the web classes. Okay, so that's. that's that's nice uh, I didn't know that there was something called a bad class okay and then you have this AMC what is this users connectivity use there's lots of things you know there's these are hidden treasures so I think this is journey for a long time um, when this thing come back I probably want to show you something let's go in the meantime to another transaction I see 16 T again we are going and we'll go execute transaction uh, and since I'm a technical person I would like to see something more on that app side okay so I go into a app and here I want to see what is this channel unified connectivity something so above support tool for cloud above syntax tree hmm. let's try this web syntax tree this is something this is something where you probably can search a bunch of things so probably in a separate tutorial I will cover this portion Sent syntax tree uh, what is about trace probably is trace related that's fine you want to end yes of course I want to do uh, about a data everyone knows uh from docu show reports this ones i don't care i want to see this one probably to opens up google or something i don't know sap back channels so okay oh this is the push push pull yeah this is new so these are there 
so uh, about tool menu class about I, I want to see whether we have that thing still running oh this 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 thing still run so and debug above editor it's, an, it's a nice thing I want to see okay transaction for function of classic above debug so no classic um, let's go into this one this trace of trace trace location mm, okay so I think that's that's it the others are you know you know more or less uh, show report source okay so this this site really don't this is German so these are German so display of above source code from subscript documentation Oops. I don't want to I've never done subscript my friends have done but really don't know much about subscript okay so here uh, so so here we can see this is a very important transaction so easy thing what we did is I'll just reiterate what we are doing what we did is we'll just go back and we'll take out our app and what I'll put now probably I don't want to mm, I want to please the please my material master friends okay or the uh, so I'll put material material okay because material master everyone knows Mara Mara Marcy MM01 that's probably the first thing starts with the name M same as our mother right so the first thing that you speak in SAP is anything that starts with M which is material master okay so here if you see I type in material mass okay and here you can see other stuff come material master so if I put the ER probably to go down further and you can see other stuff come so this is these are very handy stuffs okay uh, which I think will be very useful and uh, hope you would uh, use this and you will learn new stuffs uh, so stay tuned to my channel and happy SAP learning